So I don't know if you're like me, but on dog walks, especially if you have the dog for a long period and you've lived in the same place for so, so long, um, walks can get pretty boring. So what I've started to do while she's having her big sniff is I'll take a look at the neighbor's yard around and see if anybody has uh, any large perennials. And what you can do is leave a note or knock on the door if you're crazy, um, but leave a note with your phone number and say, hey, I was walking by our yard. I happen to see, like I'm looking at right now behind me. Where are we here? Um, there, right there. Uh, they have a huge perennial um, lavender, an English lavender that survived our winters here. It's known as Spanish lavender, which do not survive our winters. So I will probably be coming back and asking if I can take some snips to do some propagation uh, because lavender plants here, they're usually about five bucks for a teeny tiny little thing that you won't really see much from in the next couple of years um, until it's more established. Why not just make a bunch of starts and do the same thing and have it be free? I want to do a lavender hedge. So that is what I'm going to do later on because I have no paper on me now so loud. Um, but yeah, that is something you can do. Um, just keep an eye on what your neighbors are growing. If anything looks big that they might not mind you taking a little bit for a propagation, you know, feel free to leave a polite note and ask them. All right. Have a great day. Bye.